bunch of tag here in Missouri. And it might stay that way, kind of by the looks and sounds of how things went this morning. We roosted three birds right here in this timber, right to the north of me. Came in this morning, they was, they was, I set up about 100 yards away from them. And they flew the other way. Um, There's a couple of hens over there calling us up, but they didn't have any hens when they roosted yesterday, so who knows. I'll probably just sit here for a while. Nothing comes in, I'll go set up on a different spot. Maybe see if I can't get in front of them, cut them off. Set and see what happens. It's a real kind of nasty morning. Rainy, cloudy, everything's wet. So it's kind of limiting us to where we can go. I don't want to get anything stuck or spooky birds getting in. But hopefully we can stick it out. Maybe some birds will come in here. There's plenty of different birds on the farm. Maybe some different will come in. But we'll see. Well, this is a good way to start off May 1st, so uh, I couldn't be happier. It's been a really slow start for me this year in Missouri. Uh, started off Nebraska real hot first evening. I killed me a bird. We didn't hunt the first day there in Nebraska, so and then ever since then I got back to Missouri and it's just been a rocky road for me. Uh, it's kind of been a rocky road for kind of all of us. Birds really haven't been cooperating as much. There's been a lot of hens. Yeah. We roosted these birds last night and set up within about 100 yards of them. Then I, I didn't have cameraman day, so I had to self film. So figured I'd give it a try. I've seen Jay kill tons of birds and deer self filming, so I figured if he could do it, hopefully maybe I could get lucky and maybe at least get one kill myself. But uh, they really didn't want to come here this morning. They went the other way, and if it wasn't for their two hens they were with, they probably would never came over here. But uh, I was lucky enough their hens kind of slipped past, and they had no choice but to come past. And, well, I did. They came to the decoy, and unfortunately, they seen me move the camera. So I would have liked to, you know, get them attacking the decoy and maybe get a headshot on one. But either way, dead bird's dead bird. We'll uh, go and get a, 
get a tag wrapped around them and then we'll breast them out and we'll come back tomorrow and see if we can't go two for two back to back so hope you guys are having a good season uh hopefully with the last week i think the weather nasty weather should be clearing out here for us in northern missouri so hopefully next bird i kill is not going to look so raggedy but we'll see All right, well, it's May 5th. I'm here in Iowa. It's uh, about 7.30 at, at night right now, and I'm just uh, sitting here up on the hill overlooking one of our leases here, uh, just a big bottom field, and I've been driving around. I've actually seen quite a few birds, and uh, I saw a couple birds on the other end that looked to be alone, and then I just saw a big group right in the middle of our farm, and now I'm watching a lone gobbler down on this bottom right here. I'm watching him go to roost. I think him and the hen are headed straight for the creek so I know where they're gonna roost in the morning this is probably where I'm gonna come hunt so um, I'm just watching him making sure I know where he's gonna go roost I can see a bunch of other birds on our lease off in the distance across the creek so um, I'm kinda just sitting here putting together together a game plan as far as if this doesn't work out right off the bat where I can go and try to get in a spot for a late morning hunt so I'm gonna be by myself um, dad's out of town and uh, I'm not gonna have a cameraman in the morning so it's just gonna be me and uh, one tag left here in Iowa and hopefully I can get it done there's a week left here Missouri just ended today uh, I've been hunting with Cole and Casey and uh, the birds are still fired up I think we're getting really towards the end here obviously being May 5th everything's getting green it's making it tough to set up in the timber um, but luckily this farm, uh, the fields barely have the crops coming up. The beans are just an inch tall. So these turkeys are still using these fields and a lot of it's cattle pasture. So that makes it a lot, little bit easier to get set up on them. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to make sure this bird goes to bed where I think he's going to. And then uh, I'll be back in here in the morning. So we, uh, we'll see you then.
guy strutting and walking about 15 yards. But he's got one his head on. He definitely sees the decoy. So we'll see. Yeah, he's coming this way.
Yes. shaking so bad that was absolutely insane I worked that bird all morning he acted not interested whatsoever and then his hands flew across the creek and as soon as they got in the field it was a whole different ball game he got to 50 yards he couldn't stand it anymore. He had to come over here to this DSD. I'm self-filming this morning, and I'm pretty sure I just got awesome footage. All the way in, he flogged the decoy. And I smoked him right here, and he's done. I can't believe it. I might be the most shook up I've ever been on a turkey. Well, what a morning here in Iowa. I was all by myself this morning. My dad's out of town. I didn't have a cameraman. And uh, I came out last night, decided if I can find a bird in an easy spot for me to get to with all the gear by myself, I might as well come try it this morning because the weather is going to be beautiful. And uh, luckily, saw this bird from the road last night, pulled up on our hill, looked over here down in our bottom, and watched him fly up right here in this tree. So I knew exactly where I needed to be. and. Uh, Got in here this morning, got everything set up, and uh, it couldn't have worked out any better. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to happen. He flew down by himself. He was the only bird in the field right off the bat, and his hen flew the other way across the creek. So I thought, you know, this is perfect. I'm, the decoys are out here. He's here. He should just come right to him. Well, he didn't. He stood out there for an hour and a half and strutted back and forth before he decided he was done, and he wasn't coming. He was about to leave I was about to get out of the blind as soon as he was gonna fly across the creek and uh, luckily those hens I mean I don't know why or just perfect timing but they flew across the creek back into my field and as soon as they did that he turned around came right back out and it was he was like a completely different bird he saw the decoy again and came right to it I got some awesome footage of him from a hundred yards in just strutting and uh, just a beautiful bird here on this awesome morning in Iowa. Couldn't be any more thankful. This has been an amazing spring. We've had some tough times, but I've also been a part of some amazing hunts this spring and definitely some I won't ever forget. There's just nothing like chasing these turkeys. Nothing like springtime. What an awesome morning. <laughs>